Hey team, how y'all doing today? My name is Austin Quinton and we just wanted to make a custom video for you just to kind of showcase some of the best features that are gonna be most suitable to your business. And then below this video are gonna be two really important docs. The first is gonna show you how to save money with Hyros. And the second is gonna show you basically a masterclass made by Alex Becker on how to scale your company using Hyros for your business type, okay? But I just kinda of wanna give you a rundown, a walkthrough of some of the best features inside Hyros that you can utilize right away that are gonna help you start scaling, saving money, and growing your business with Hyros, okay? First thing that we wanna show you is the dashboards. These are super customizable. We can pretty much make any kind of KPI metric dashboard view that you want, okay? These are also shareable. So we can take any kind of shareable link, right? We can basically create links from a view and then we can take that link and we can share it with anyone on our team or a client, it doesn't matter. Okay, so then they'll get a view just like this. They can put in a date range, they can make it a PDF, print it, etc. right? But that right there is the dashboards and then you can put in a date range, okay? And then if you wanna go into a deep dive inside of a dashboard, all you gotta do is just click this little clipboard button. What this will do for you more than anything else, the dashboards, is give you basically a bird's eye view of everything that's going on inside the business. What that's gonna do mostly is it's gonna save you time more than anything else, it's gonna save you time. Um, you can create any kind of widget right here. We have tons of different ways, metrics, LTV, attribution, um, source overview, metrics, top table, custom reports, last click, first click, scientific attribution, no problem. You can do it with the dashboard. That's really easy with Hyros as well. Um, and then if you click this little clipboard, it will actually generate a report for you from that one widget that we were just looking at for that date range. And you'll be able to see it right here. You can click on the nested view or the tabs view. You can see all of the campaign data, right? You can see all of the different sales. I can click on the sales and then I can scroll over and I can click on an email. I can see the entire journey of that email, no problem, right? And then if I go back, I can see the ad set level data. I can then see the ad data, okay? So we can see all of the metrics that are within inside of a particular date range inside, from a widget inside of a report, no problem, okay? We can save this, we can do a deep analysis of the sales details and everything inside here. We can even scroll up and we can choose what columns we wanna see, but the columns that you have selected from that widget will be automatically populated inside this report. Okay, so that right there is the dashboards. Then we have the different reporting mechanisms of Hyros. So Hyros offers different levels of attribution with regards to reporting. So last click, first click scientific are basically the bread and butter of everything that Hyros uses, what most people use at Hyros. So last click just means the last source gets the credit for the sale. First click, first source gets the credit for the sale. Scientific is kind of like a combination of both last and first click. And it's really good if your customers are seeing multiple sources before actually purchasing from you, all right? So we can set like an average time frame of what it usually takes for someone to purchase from us. Like if we set it to 10 days right there, if the customer purchases within 10 days of seeing the first source, Hyrus will attribute the sale to the first source. And if they purchase after 10 days, Hyrus will attribute the sale to the last source. So really useful right there. Um, if the customers are seeing multiple sources like a Facebook ad, then like a Google ad, et cetera, okay? Or multiple Facebook ads or multiple Google ads, like what gets the credit for the sale, right? This is really, really useful for that. You can put in any date range right there. We can click on specific attributes. We can click on like sources. We can filter by ad accounts, traffic sources, traffic categories, products. We can filter by specific opt-ins even. If we can track stages, if we set up tracking four stages, we can track certain stages. So like when someone gets to a specific page or part of our funnel or our website, we can track those sorts of things. You can really break it down with Hyros. You can click on advanced options right here, and then we can include no sources. So Hyros will definitely track things that you might not even know where sales are coming from. So you may definitely have sales that are coming from sources you have no idea about. Hyros will show you that. And if you include no sources, it's gonna show you that. You can examine those no source click history, and then we can set up tracking for that next time so that they track. So you might have sales that are coming from like Yahoo Organic or Bing or DuckDuckGo or the Brave browser, et cetera, right? Um, like Hyrus will show you that. You can set up tracking for that next time and then it will track, okay? So include or ignore organic sources. If we include organic sources, if like the last source 
um, is getting the credit for a sale is organic. Hiros will attribute it to the organic. But like if we ignore organic, if the last source was organic, but the first source was paid traffic, Hiros will attribute it to only paid traffic. It will basically ignore organic sources, right? Um, you can ignore recurring sales if you have those. Um, this is really good if like, you know, basically you just want to see first time purchases. Okay. We can generate this report. Hyros is really good at taking everything in the whole business and condensing it into one area for you. So you'll see like the total ad revenue, the cost, the meta, the Google organic data. Again, we have a nested view, which is basically allowing you to drop things down. And then we have the tabs view, which is brand new at Hyros, which allows you to see like the campaign data, the ad set level data, okay? And then if you choose the columns right here, you can basically um, grab these columns and drag them to the top. Those will be the first columns that you see. You can select any columns that you want right here, drag those to the top. You can deselect certain columns and then you can even create views, okay? So like if I like, you know, type in something right here and then save it, what I can then do is just click this little drop down right here and I can click on like new, new as an example. And that will be like basically a custom like columns, like what's most important to me metrics that I can see. And I can just basically select that anytime I generate a report inside Hyros. So it basically uh, makes it sim simple and uh, easy to use with Hyros when you do that. Okay. Um, so you can again go into the deep uh, analytics right here, see all the sales, the leads, the calls, everything, okay? We can export reports, we can save reports as a widget if we want, and then we can even title different reports. So like if I wanted to like say this was like my Black Friday special report, okay? So like I like the way that something is filtered in a specific way, I wanna name it like the Black Friday special report or something like that. Then I can save that report and then that report will be inside my save reports. And then like, let's say I want to look at that report again. It's filtered in a certain way that I like. I can just go to my save reports. I can click on it. It will generate that report automatically for me. And then like, let's say I like that report, but I want to see a different date. So I don't want to have to like put my filters in all over again. You just click on that save report. And then you just click this little arrow button right here, and then you can just change the date. So the filters are the same, but the date is different for the data that you want to look at. Okay. So that's super useful right there. Sales data. Okay. So this is where all of your sales, all of your leads, subscriptions, calls, everything exists right inside this area. You can look up any sale um, that you want. Um, you can just uh, type in a name, an email, an IP, an order ID, whatever you want. You can click on any one of these and see the entire journey, the click history, et cetera. Okay. Um, leads, ex um, uh, same exact thing. We can import leads. We can import sales. We can export leads, export sales, calls, et cetera. All right. Um, you can get very customizable and do almost anything you want with regards to your data with Hyros, all right? And then right over here, we have like a little support widget, okay? So you can always click this, ask a question if you need it. We're definitely here to help you. We wanna help you. If you also ever like need to like set something up really quickly, you can always click on the setup and docs right here, click on explore, and then, um, you can type in any keyword right here. So like if you want to like look at the data inside ads manager, you can just type in Chrome and Hyros will show you basically how to set up um, the Chrome extension to view the data inside ads manager. Okay. If you wanted to set up the pixel stuff. So there's like another thing uh, I should have mentioned. We can actually take all of the data that we uh, track inside Hyros and send it back to the ad platforms as an offline conversion, which will train the pixel. So if you wanted to like set that up, you just type in pixel and boom, it shows you how to do it. We have both written as well as video guide documentation. So on behalf of Hyros, welcome. We're super happy that you are here. And if you ever need assistance, please just let us know. And thank you so much. Have a great day.